the book of Genesis chapter 15 verse 13 14 15 and 16 but we'll leave out 15 because 15 do not tend to what we have to discuss today so let us go then said he to Abraham know for a certain that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs and will serve them and will be afflicted by them for 400 years and also the nation whom they have served i will judge afterwards they shall come out with great possession verse 16 but in the fourth generation shall they return here for the iniquity of the Amorites is not completed people today we are going to discuss the topic the curse has been broken prepare for repatriation we have just read Genesis chapter 15 verse 13 14 and 16 and this was the most I speaking to Abraham from previous study using the Bible we have concluded that the children of Israel in this modern day are the descendants of the children of the transatlantic slave trade. So if your four parents was a slave in the 15, 16, 17, and 18th century, then you are the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? So the most high saying. That they're going to serve the people who have taken them captive for 400 years. But after the 400 years has completed, I am going to judge them. And afterwards, they are going to come out of her with great possession. But this is what he says in verse 16. But in the fourth generation, they shall return here for the iniquity of the Amorite is not yet completed. So what the Moses is saying, after they have served 400 years, the course is going to be lifted and I am going to judge the nation that enslaved my people and I'm going to bring them out of her with great possession, but not until the course of the Amorite has been completed so from four generations to the end of the curse is when we are going to go back to Israel we can conclude that from 15 18 so let us see 15 18 16 18 17 18 19 18 20 18 is four hundred years so people this is time for the Israelites all over the globe to rejoice because it has been 2018 have marked 400 years of slavery of the Israelites in this world and after that the Most High is going to judge that nation and after the judgment we are going to come out of those nations with great possession. But guess what? Not until the fourth generation. People, it is important to understand this. Let us go to Proverbs chapter 6. And we will read Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 8. And let us see what it has to say and see how this is going to tie in. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. So the Moses is telling his people to go to the ant. Study the ant. Consider her ways and learn from the ant. Which have no captain, no overseers, no ruler. Provides her supplies in the summer and gather her food in the harvest. How long? Will you slumber, O sluggard? 
When will you arise from your sleep? People, let us go back to a lesson I did a few weeks ago. The lesson was titled, right? Now, if you could remember in, in that lesson, I started it by telling you a story. That a few years ago, two or three years ago, I was walking along Grand Avenue. And I saw a colony of ants that was running back and forth, busily running back and forth with urgency. And what they were doing, they were taking food to their burrow, right? So I saw this ants in about February, March, this colony of ants in about February, March. And I noticed that these ants were running back and forth and they were taking food back to their burrow. So they were going to the source of the food and they were taking it back to their burrow and they were doing this in preparation for the winter. Because my research later told me that these ants hibernate in the winter. And I went and I researched, hey, let me see what kind of ant these are. And let me see what they are doing. Because they were busy running back and forth from their force of, the source of food, food back to their burrows. And then I come to realize from my research that these ants had a lifespan of six weeks. That means these ants were preparing for a winter that they will never see as is many many generation of these ants that was preparing for the winter that will never see the winter that they were preparing for but they were preparing for it anyway it is not about those ants but it was about the survival of the colony several generations will prepare for that winter and none of those generation of ants will see that winter and they will not benefit from all the hard work that they would have put in. What if what the prophecy as outlined in Genesis chapter 15 says is true? It means, it means that you and I will never see the repatriation of the Israelites from this part of the world. We will be like Moses. We will never be a part of the promise. But what are we supposed to do? We have to prepare the next generation so that that generation where the repatriation to Israel will begin will be able to sustain the relationship with the Most High. Not like what happened when we came out of, e of Egypt. When the Most High brought our four parents out of Egypt in grand style, in miraculous style, we wandered in the wilderness for 40 long years. That is because the people who came out of Egypt were steep in the culture of the Egyptian. Their hearts was back in Egypt. They were not ready to come out, but the most I know. They were not eligible to enter the promised land because they will take all of their bad habits that they have acquired in Egypt into the promised land. So the most I caused them to wander in the desert for 40 years until all of those people who were adults in Egypt died and then they crossed the Jordan River and start occupying the promises of the Most High. This is alleged to have happened in 1446 BCE. However, by 605 BCE, our people had backslidden and we are backslidden so bad 
we are backslidden so bad that the Mosai had to put us back into slavery. So after 841 years, we have angered the Most High so bad that the Most High had to use Babylon to enslave us again. People, that is why the Most High will not be giving us one generation prepare to go into Israel one generation is not sufficient because after one generation in wiping away the habits that was acquired in Egypt it was not enough after 841 years as a nation we were enslaved again we turned our backs on the Most High and we were once again re enslaved. That is why the Most High says in Genesis 15, Genesis 15 16, not until four generations that I am going to allow you to go back to Israel, the Israel that is now being occupied by the Caucasians, by the Edomites. Not after four generations after the curse has been broken will we. So we have to now do like the ants. We have to now prepare for a winter that we will not be a part of. 